Uh, I'm entering my final read, fifth year of college. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. I did it too, buddy. Mm. Don't feel bad. I've had an amazing four years, and I want to make this year the best. It's a victory lap. I wouldn't be. Yeah. Hey, any fun ideas that you guys did in your final year, or have you heard of any new college crazy happenings? I'm sick of beer pong and the same theme party ideas. What is something that will push this year over the top? Before graduating. I graduate. <laughs> That'll really take this year over the edge. Just finish. I heard that um, college kids nowadays, what they're doing in their final year <clears throat> is that they are uh, they are just spending it in quiet contemplation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thinking about their future careers and maybe some goals and dreams they may have. You got a long road ahead of you. Got a long road behind you. You've already done so much. Why don't you just consider the leaves? You're sick of beer pong. Maybe it's time to get sick of studying for final exams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe something like that. Um, I uh, I attended. We would throw an annual um, beach party in someone's apartment where we would fill it with sand and then have a kiddie pool. And then everybody wore beach wear. That was fun. Justin, this sounds that. fucking. That sounds like a fucking ordeal. How did you get it the was, sand out? What vacuums? And it was a. And he, we just he decided that he was going to lose his security deposit like oh, real okay. early on. Like Wait, was early this in his was this the same there. apartment that you used to play that game where everybody would go in the bathroom and you'd cut open a bunch of fireworks and dump them in the sink and then yeah. light it and then see who could stay in the room the longest? Yeah, we did that game. Man, you we were fucking g- dumb. Man, you were really <laughs> dumb. We did the game where we would uh, put our initials in lighter fluid on the carpet and then light it. Mm-hmm. It's not <laughs> a game. Not a game. <laughs> well, you can certainly lose it. That's fair. <laughs> you know what I did my senior year is I arranged all my classes so that I had nothing on Fridays. So I had three-day weekends every week. That's nice. Yeah, That's it was pretty, pretty sweet. Nice. And then Batman Friday was an all-day drinking day. Batman Friday. Yeah. You got, you got uh, let's see, Bloody Mary's in the morning. Mimosas at noon, and then beer at five. I love a mimosa. That's how you're gonna. That's how you're gonna put. Yeah, man, I could go for a fucking mimosa. I know, right? right? Um, that is how you're gonna push this year over the top. Is if you find your physical limits. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Like pushers, you need to know what you're capable of before you get into the real world. Yeah. Now, do you mean things like, you know, mental effort? Like you push yourself in No, I meant training? drinking. Oh, okay, I was yeah. also gonna say eating challenges. The, the, hey, life is just one big eating challenge if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Can I make a note? Uh, after I said that about the sand, I can't remember if that's something we talked about doing or actually did. I just <laughs> so the logistics did. of that is really rough. If you went to college with me and we did that, that was cool. If if I didn't do that, just keep it to yourself. Okay. You have so many things that you did that were wonderful mm-hmm. um, with that with what? that group that with that crew used to roll. I feel like we could do it. Like that time that Travis gave that kid a, gave Brandon McCoy a concussion. Yeah, which I him. still feel bad about. You yeah. should. We were playing a game. This is another <laughs> This is another game. And in this game, one person would wear a motorcycle helmet. But technically, it was a scooter helmet because uh-huh. he bought it to ride it in a scooter. And we would put the helmet on. And then the and then a, another party would hit that person in the head with a bowling pin. Mm-hmm. Uh, the basher. Now, hold on. Yeah. What? Yeah. The basher was the name of that position. The basher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the basher would hit that person, and then they would switch. So, like, you didn't want to hit them too hard. Because they were going to hit you. So Travis was hanging out. It was the first time as a young man, probably still in high school. And we said, hey, why don't you take a swing with Brandon, who was a, a sweet kid we all hung out with. And, <laughs> he's even uh, sweeter now. He's even sweeter now because Travis <laughs> did like a kind of a whirlwind, over-the-shoulder a windmill. Hay- a haymaker, I believe. Yeah. A haymaker, if you will. And just drilled him. Dropped him like a sack of stupid bricks. <laughs> now, to be fair, this was a time in my life where I was just like coming into my own physically, and I had no grasp of my own strength. Don't try to play it off like it's your first day under the yellow sun, <laughs> and you're just like, "Oh shit, <laughs> my powers are awakened!" Like you just drilled him. I brained him. I brained him real good. You had like half of Mike's heart eliminated. You <laughs> drilled- oh god, I can feel I can feel Mike coursing through my veins. <laughs> Help me. So he got a concussion. It's no big deal. He's fine now. now. He's fine now, I guess. I don't know. I, I haven't heard from him in a while. I'm, Since I'm, that I'm, night, actually. He just kind of wandered off. I like the story where you took Jason's iguana, and you went out, and you bought a lobster, and you had the lobster and the iguana fight, and said you would eat the loser. Yeah, that's true. That's true, too. 
Yeah, see, this is college. This is what you should. That's another thing. That's what you gotta do. You gotta find a dumb, dumb group of friends and then just do as much dumb shit as you possibly can, so you can tell stories about it later. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly. I, you know what? I want to tell a story about how I need some money. Mm, Man, my my fungibles are low. Yeah, also my funions. (laughs) Travis, we take us to the money zone.